when I was on, I'm on this journey, this renewal of the Eucharist journey, you know, the Holy Spirit and Christ have been saying to me, work in the church, keep in the church. Christ is saying to me, I'll speak to you in my church and I'll send you people to help you. And it's really important as Catholics today that we, we, we use the graces that Christ is pouring out in his church. This is the most challenging time to evangelise that we have faced in 1,600 years of Christianity in Ireland, without a doubt. This is the most challenging time, how to give a message that will be received. And the more I've meditated on this, the more I've met, I mean, I've just, I have, I have meditated and meditated and gone around. The more I meditate on this, the, the best way you can evangelize is to lead somebody to encounter Christ. You know, this evening, the wife had me down <laughs> to bring the boys to a uh, football training. And, uh, yeah, and I went, we went out to Manola Junction. Uh, it's, a, it's a place near here in, in Mayo. And I said, okay, I'll go for a while and I'll pray the roses. So I went to a town called Baal. People are not Irish. It's not, it's, it's spelled B-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, but pronounced Baal. Went into the church. It's an absolutely beautiful church. There's saints, there's beautiful statues of saints behind the altar. And there's a statue of Our Lady. Looks like Our Lady with the miraculous medal image of Our Lady. And our Lord with his hand in the Sacred Heart. And the old altar, the high altar is there intact. So very, very beautiful. So I was in there in prayer, praying the rosary. And it looked like the council of saints up there in the church triumphant was standing before me, you know. Um, and I was just there, guys, what's going on? What's going on in this church? How can we preach this message? And... I suppose a number of things were coming through to me in prayer. The first thing was, I had, uh, somebody had asked me about Medjugorje yesterday. I have never planned to go to Medjugorje. I don't follow anything that happens in Medjugorje. No interest going there. I would prefer to go to Knock. I live close to Knock. But look, as Christ said, things will fall in your lap. Things will come. People will be put in your, in your uh, journey. You know, I have to walk with the church. And Medjugorje was put, you know, was put on my journey, you know, simply was. It fell into my lap. The rosary came. People invited me, f multiple friends. So I'm going to Medjugorje. That's it. And today, something came from Medjugorje. I won't say much about it. Uh, and I, so I went to prayer to see them and I asked our lady, you know, like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, you can just ask our Blessed Mother. And all I could see of Medjugorje in prayer was Our Lady stand, uh, standing over Medjugorje with her, heart, with her arms like held out like this and then the grace is flowing. That's all I could see. And I said, okay, Mammy, Blessed Mother, Teotokos, if that's what you're showing me so far. Now, as I said, anything I put in this video, I leave it up to the church to discern because Christ is very clear. The church will discern. Let the Holy Spirit and let as many people, many good saints, saintly people, they'll discern messages and it's not like I know anything. The only thing the church does not need to discern is the renewal of the Eucharist. That has to be done. That's from Christ. Get down on your knees and receive our Lord in the Eucharist on the tongue. That's from Christ. No doubts. No doubts. That is from Christ. That is crystal clear. If you want to know what the will of God is for you, a lay person, a Latin Rite, Latin Rite Catholic. If you know what, want to know what the will is God for you, if you can, if you can, and you'll know it. Everybody in co good conscience would know it. If you want to know what the will of God is for the Latin Rite Church, 100%, no need for bishops, cardinals, popes to discern in this. The will of God is receive. Our Lord kneeling and on the tongue, if you can, if you can, you know, obviously, you know, that, that's what Christ wants. That's what Our Lady wants. That's why Our Lady is at pain. You know, I think she's, she's shocked to see what we've done in the church. 
I think she's so pain. No wonder she's coming out with all of this, what's going with Medjugorje and Agarabandal and Akita. It's all connected, guys. Kibejo and Fatima. Do you not see this? You know, she is really, at, she is really destroyed with what we're doing to her son. You know, we will only convert. And I, I the word convert can seem very, you know, confrontational. Somebody evangelize. Can, the, what's the word? To give Christ as a friend to souls. We have to give Christ that experimental um, love of Christ to souls. Once you meet Christ, you can't be indifferent. And prayer is the best proof of God's existence. Wish people had told me this 30 years ago. It's fine. It, prayer is the best proof of God's existence. And pray with other people. Pray with other people. Even though you, you might think in a certain prayer group, you're not getting much out of it. You're, the simple fact that you're there praying with other people, pray the rosary, read scripture with other, with other people. Men, I, I specifically ask men to do this. It incre your, your faith increases by practicing it. It just does. I don't know how this magic formula of faith works, but it does. That's what Christ wants. So I don't know. You know, Our Lady is pouring graces down at this moment of time. You know, she's seemingly, she's okay with Medjugorje. I, seemingly, that's the great, that's what I'm getting in prayer anyway. And as I said, when it comes to this discern in the church, always this, Christ wants us discerning and working together as baptised Catholics in the church. He wants us all talking. But the renewal of the Eucharist has to come. We need to return ad orientem. We need to turn, you know, to God. And th this is crystal clear. I, you know, Mother Angelica, you know, that she is a saint. And I can feel her so present in my life at so many times. You know, she's saying, Robert, you're on the right track. I can e Sometimes I can even see Mother Angelica in front of me and say, Robert, you're on the right track. When you talk about the Eucharist, it's back to basics, guys. Back to basics. That's where we're going, Catholics. Back to basics. No, and it's not going back to what we had. It's going back to the essentials, how we adore Christ. N kneeling is... You know, it's quintessential. It's basics, basics, guys. It's how we adore. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, yeah. Look, so, I mean, you know, Christ works. And this is what I'm sketching in prayer. Another thing, I went up to this beautiful church. I put a photo of the statue. It's really beautiful. And I was just going up and, you know, hit the sacred heart of Christ. Christ touching his heart. If you've ever looked at Christ and saw his sacred heart it would change you forever to go up to Calvary and put your hand on Christ's sacred heart if you've ever put your hand on Christ's sacred heart you just cannot remain the same that was the one thing that you know radically changed me to the core to touch Christ's sacred heart and you see the statue and, you know, I was just, touch I, 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 as I left the church, I just touched his hand and I was like, God, you're, you're so real. I don't know. Maybe I'm the, as I said, I'm, I'm the madman. Uh, Lamat, maybe I am. Who knows? But it's nice madness if this is it. I'd be happy with that. No, Christ is asking us. Christ is, you know, return to me. I am the, yeah, he's saying that. I am the way, the truth and the life. Come to me. I am the way to the truth and life. Come with me. I mean, what's what's coming? I'm I'm you know, there's something coming, guys. I can tell you there's something coming. He wouldn't be doing this very insistently with so many people, because I can you can see it. I don't know. Anyway, pray for the church. I just thought I'd put that out there anyway. Look as it comes in prayer and blog about it and give you this encouragement. If you want to know what's the will of God for you as a Latin Rite Catholic, confess, go to confession, receive our Lord kneeling on the tongue and soak in the graces of the Eucharist. Soak them up. Christ is, oof. 
just work, dying to, he actually died so that he could work with souls, work with you. He's there. It's just, he's just pushing people on. And he's walking in his church now and he's looking for us laity to raise up and to renew this beautiful faith. You know, priests don't believe, but we will believe. Christ will work with He won't abandon you. You want to know what the will of God is for you as a Roman Catholic? Kneel and receive our Lord in the tongue at Mass. Kneel and receive our Lord in the Eucharist at Mass. That will transform the church. That simple act. And it will drive consciousness. Maybe we need to renew the reverence in the Mass. Maybe we need to go back and examine what was written in Second Vatican Council on the, renew on the renewal of the Mass. Maybe there is something that we need to do. They will see this. And that, I can tell you, is the will of God. You can discern all you like. That is the will of God. To return to him. Renewal of the Eucharist. I, can, I have that crystal clear. Everything else, I don't know. I leave that aside. <laughs> Renewal of the Eucharist, I'm 100% there. Anyway, look, just pray. Pray for me and pray for the church. Okay, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.